All right, so for those of you just tuning in, this is going to be a 4v4 Arabia on the brand new, the forgotten expansion pack for Age of Empires 2 HD Edition. I'll be playing as the Teutons this time, because why not? They're not the Britons, and in fact, they're basically the opposite, so why not? Gonna try and put on my tryhard pants today, but as I always say, it is rather difficult to play well when providing a meaningful commentary, but I try. This time, though, we're gonna kick some ass. Last game was bad. So Resonance angry, Resonance smash. <laughs> Plus we're playing the Teutons today, because why not? We got the amazing Ace Maracruiser on our team, so we actually cannot lose. Come on, pocket again. Yeah, I should've I should have gone camels last game as the Indians, man. Um, here we go. Shade with his castle dropping shenanigans. Well, I'll show you, Shade. Yeah, so we're gonna start with the standard six on sheep rides, and then we're gonna go straight to this lumber camp. I'm gonna put four villagers in the lumber camp this time. So this is my Arabia build order. You can go with uh, three on your lumber camp, of course, if that's just how you like it. And do a little force drop off. Notice how I always keep my town center working uh, whenever possible. It should always be creating a villager or researching a technology. The most important thing you can do to improve your play if you're new is to make sure your town center is always working. Minimize that idle time, and you too can be the next Jordan 23. Think about it. Okay, so we got how many on the... so we need the fourth one on wood right now. Yeah, it's Arabia for you, Mr. Uh, East Maracruiser, aka Red Epic, aka Kanye West. So I'm gonna put a fourth villager on the lumber camp this time. Reason being is normally I would go with the uh, three, but I want to delay the time that I hunt my boar. So I, I want to go for sort of uh, faster advancement time than I normally would. Considering that it's Arabia, don't necessarily want to sit back. I might go scouts or something and raid someone in the feudal age and then go up. We'll see though. I've not quite decided yet, but either way, it's also nice to have a little extra wood uh, for walling and maybe a barracks. All right, now I'm gonna go get that boar. I told that I told her to drop off the meat, but she's just like, no, I'm not gonna drop off the meat, and that makes me sad. So, I'm gonna shoot that boar twice. Run underneath the town center. Nah, dude, Shade doesn't feel fear. He's a, he's like a robot, man. He's a deadly Cylon agent. Or he's like the Terminator. I wonder if he's Austrian. Either way. Yeah, he's actually Jordan, by the way. Actually. <laughs> what a twist. Oh yeah, we have BBQ Turkman in the audience right now cheering us on, so... It's pretty cool. <laughs> no, he's not actually Jordan, but... I mean, I, I see the... I see the... I can see the resemblance a little bit. See, they don't feel, they only kill. <laughs> so do I, actually. Uh, Shade uh, consistently just wins. We're gonna we're gonna take a win from him today. It's over. You've heard it here. Today's the day we take the throne back. Actually, you should you should go get that. Uh... Yeah, with dots. Yeah, dots and plasma. Yeah, we've got this. I know it seems stacked. We've got this. It's all about giving them the impression that they always beat us. Just so they let their guard down for half a second. And that's when we reveal, this isn't even my final form. I'm gonna go full Super Saiyan this game, and by that I mean I, I have no idea. 
Either way, I'm gonna attempt to put up a fight against Shane. <laughs> I should not be in the best of nine bonanza, but I mean I could. Uh, but I don't. I definitely cannot compete with the uh, AOC pros guys. But I can try. Okay, everything is seems to be going fine right now. See, every time I get housed and whatnot, because I know I know Shade watches my live stream and whatnot. You know, he's usually in the games with me. He sees me struggle. He sees me get castle drop. He watches me get housed. It's all part of the plan. This entire time, I've been trying to embed this whole, this whole thing in his mind, this impression that uh, that I'm really just like an average Arabia player and nothing special. But then I rip my mask off, and suddenly the Viper, out of nowhere, the M Night Shyamalan twist. No one ever saw it coming. I know I sound nothing like him, and I play nothing like him, but. It's all part of the plan. Dun dun dun! I do sort of play like him. Well, thank you. I don't know about that. He's very aggressive. Like a very beta version? There we go. Yeah, he's very aggressive. I'm very defensive. Like, the Viper's offense is something to be feared. Let's get some of that deer action. So I'm actually, I've decided I'm actually going to go for Fast Castle Age instead. I thought I was going to go Scouts or something like that, but now that I think about it, I definitely want to go Knights. Let's go Knights instead. Why my farms are cheaper. These farm subsidies. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. So many M. Night Shyamalan twists, guys. Ah, <sighs> the struggle this game. Oh god, Dots is like 2k rating. Oh, I'll ruin a terrible start. See, see, you know, you know what he's doing? He's saying things like that. See, Shin, uh, Shin Shimax and Alarun, they're saying these things just to get in the enemy team's head. Oh, Wait, but your deer are over here, dude. That's awkward. All right, whatever. You're actually, you actually ate my deer. <laughs> okay, again, you know, we're stealing each other's, uh, we're stealing each other's deer. Yes, we're stealing each other's deer. We're having bad starts. Everything seems to be going wrong, but it's all an illusion. Oh my God! Because he ate all that deer meat, I'm not going to be able to advance on time, am I? All oh, this game. Game is bad. Anyway, yeah, this is all to create the illusion uh, that that uh, Shade's gonna win, but he's not. He's not gonna win. We gotta get in his head, okay? Like this is the thing: is we gotta make him think, think like we're playing like shit today, and that's when we get him. Yeah, we do. But you know what? That's how we win. Bit shade right now, he's shaking in his boots. He's like, how am I gonna win against these people who are hunting each other's deer and just fumbling about with their slow feudal ages? Like, how is he gonna win? And the answer is, he won't. Of course. So anyway, I'm gonna have a slow castle age. Completely intentional, by the way. Uh, there's no such thing as a mistake, it's always 100% intentional. I'm 100% serious. Totally. Definitely. So anyway, the idea here is that, in theory, I'm going to build a blacksmith and market as soon as I advance, and then I'm not going to have enough resources to go to the castle age, but ideally I would. Uh, but of course, since this was all planned, I wanted to ensure that uh, I was missing one of my deer, uh, so that I would have a slower, uh, slower castle age time. That was completely intended. Because I want to get in Shade's head, you know? No, it's cool, it's cool. This way it's better. Right, right, right. If he thinks I'm playing like shit, and I am playing like shit, I win. Uh, I believe a wise man once said, uh, in I guess uh, Dota or LOL speak, 
Feed and win. Lose lane, win game. That's what we're doing right here, okay? It's all part of the plan, guys. Yeah, I should probably go Blacksmith Stable, honestly, but I I felt like I kind of wanted Cartography, but I should have gone, yeah, Blacksmith and Stable. I just, I don't know. I gotta see things. I wonder what's going on. I also need three wood, like... Okay, there we go. Maybe I'm being paranoid. But I will get the stable. It's all part it's all part of appearing bad. God damn it, Shade. Okay. I might lose that actually. GG. Please, Bill. Thank you. Alright, ten? Why am I getting harassed by two people scouts at the same time though? That's that's my question, honestly. Oh my god, game is hard. Okay, now I have enough for the stable. <gasps> okay. Nah, he's not taunting me. This is what he does when he's nervous. It's all part of the plan. I assure you, 100% of things that happen in this game are 100% planned. Everything. Losing that villager... 100% planned. I wanted to lose that villager. I needed to clear up population space, guys. These villagers were holding me back, so we had to execute them. <laughs> why are the two? Why do people gang up on me though with the scouts, man? I am just an old man looking for my blue buff. Please. God damn it. Should have made a should have made a spearman. Get off my D. Hmm. The struggle. Food, please. Yeah, they do that. Get back to your berries where you belong, woman. Residence needs to go cry now. But yeah, no, I've been in his head the entire time. It looks like, it looks bad, okay? I've lost two villagers for free. It looks bad. Like, my castle age time is kind of slow. Uh, it looks bad. One could almost say I'm behind. But they'd be wrong. Because this was all planned. It's all in the context of things. You can't honest you can't possibly lose. If you plan to lose. It's that kind of thinking that gets you to 2K Elo, guys. I should do a series of tutorials called Losing with Resonance. I c okay, you know what guys? I can take your Elo off your hands. I can show you how to get rid of that pesky pesky Elo that's been holding you back this entire time, alright guys? All the, all that Elo that you have that I know you don't want. I can show you how to get rid of that. I can make it disappear. I know it's been bugging you for your entire life. Okay. It sucks having it sucks having a high rating. I know that. And I have figured it out. I know how to make it go away. I know how to make it better, guys. So if your if your Elo is really bothering you, I can help. I am the only player, honestly, like, out there that is willing to help you lose ELO. Most players, you know, are always trying to teach you how to get your rating up and whatnot, but... No, man, having a high rating, it's just, it's stressful, it's not satisfying, it's a problem. And I understand that, so I'm here to make it better. So if you need any help on, uh, your ELO, I've got your back, I've got you covered, okay? Hello, Chilled Kiwi! Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm giving people my tutorial right now on how to uh, get rid of ELO, actually. Oh, Alrin, you, uh, you getting raided? I'm coming, buddy. I'm my tutorial right now on how to how to lose rating, because I know a lot of people just, just hate it. They just hate their rating, so... Uh, I'm here to make it better.
<laughs> yes, I can get rid of your happiness too. I can take your money. I can, you know, we can make it better. I'm here to help, guys. God, I have sarcasm so thick you can cut through with a knife, and you ever just pull your knights back the moment that you start getting raided by someone else's knights? Ugh! Thanks, Satan! Yeah, that pathing bug, though. <laughs> Thanks, Obama! Yeah, oh my god, what are my knights doing? I want whatever drugs my knights are on, because apparently it's, uh, those are some intense drugs, I guess. Okay, cool. Crisis, mildly averted, sort of, kind of, not really. But of course, this is all according to plan. There's, uh, there's nothing that, what could possibly go wrong. This is where I put my eco. If I had one. Not good. I'm coming, dude. You're down to 10 vills. Uh, okay, I'm just going to defend you, I guess, and just keep guys basically patrolled around your base. Oh, you're down 10! Okay, that's better. That's a lot better. Good, okay. Whew! You have finally met your match, Mr. Dots, for I have knights too, and my knights say me. Oh yeah, no, my, my guys are all on crack too. Uh, that's the appeal, I guess. I don't know, apparently villagers are just getting bored and they're just huffing paint in between games now. Okay, well I finally found his knights, which is a plus, I guess. It's the little things, right? Okay. A few more, a few more people on farms. I'ma get ya! I'ma get ya! Okay, I actually got one. <laughs> That's a start, right? I ain't got money for bloodlines, Teslano. Later. Ooh, I'm bringing in the wolf, too. The strats. Oh, what map is this? This is Arabia. Someone should really kill uh, Poissmi's scout at some point. Oh, no, no, no. The fun part of AoE is uh, that your villagers can barely function without anything at all. Uh, they have to be told to breathe. <laughs> but no, that would be kind of cool. But I don't know, that's sort of the appeal of the game, but normally your villagers aren't this dumb. It's just that there's uh, some sort of questionable pathing and whatnot that is a result of uh, bugs in AB2HD. Hopefully I have enough knights to deal with this. I think I do. Oh, I totally do. Yes! Great success. It's the little things that count, guys. That's how we, uh, that's how we keep our sanity. I'm actually not playing bad this game. I'm actually playing pretty well, it's just this game is going really poorly, but I'm actually playing pretty well, so that's a blast. Yeah, I'm not playing Black Forest, uh, even though that's my specialty map and really the only map I'm good at, or that I can claim to be good at, uh, because of the pathing bug. It's, it's pretty Satan, honestly. It's in the new update. They're supposedly going to fix it at some point. They say they will soon. I'm waiting, but uh, I understand, though, that the game is, well, archaic at best, and fixing bugs like these can be really, really difficult. I mean, like, coming from a guy who's, you know, been coding AIs for the game, I can say that the code is a mess. 
So I take what I can get. But they uh, should never have touched the pathing in the first place. Our heart's in the right place, though. Still, despite all this, I do support the HD edition. Because uh, I do believe that continued developer support is the way to go. And uh, they're down, they're, you know, they're gonna get it right eventually, right, guys? Maybe? Kinda? Sort of? No? I believe. I do like the Steam Workshop a lot, too. It's not, it's not an entire bungled mess, don't get me wrong. And I'd still buy it again. If I could play Voobly still? I don't know. It, I, I don't play on Voobly because the old AOE does not run very uh, smoothly or consistently on my new PC, but... I mean, HD in its current state does not run well either, so... <laughs> I don't know, that's a, that's a tough question, man. Gotta give it some thought. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. Oh, Jesus! Balls! Okay. Hi, Shade. But yeah, no, it's worth it. I said Ringtown Bell, and that took, what, five seconds? Crazy kids. Yes, take free hits. Good, good. Send back to work. Send back to work. And on ring. Where is your god now? <laughs> oh, he got me housed because he made me ring the town bell. That was his plan all along. I see. The meta tactics are strong with this one. You better run, son. Whoa, Alarun, your guys aren't here anymore. Kind of need those. Oh, well, whatever. Let's go somewhere else. Yeah, no, it's cool. Maybe we scared him off again. So, baby steps, right? Little things. Do I not have a farmer for that? I'm actually playing pretty well. This is good. <laughs> you can tell you can tell the skill level discrepancy though. Jesus. Whoa, dude, Shade's doing better than Dots. Oh damn. Actually is Jordan the entire time, guys. Shade should be a meme. Just paste uh, paste Jordan's face over him. Build faster houses, please. Well, that's always a good thing. I love it when my opponent reaches the Imperial Age. They played AoE 3 as well? Of course. Of course. I like it. It's a fun game, but it... I feel like it really pairs, pales in comparison to the uh, Age of Empires 2. And Age of Mythology, for that matter. It's really good, it just doesn't feel like an Age of Empires game. It feels like they changed way too much. Uh, that didn't necessarily need to be changed. It's a fun game, though. I think there's, you know, the graphics are stunning, as I've said before, and the soundtrack is one of the best I've heard, but... I don't know, it's uh, lacking the charm of the uh, Age games. It just didn't feel like an Age game to me. It's good though. It's good in its own right. I might play some of that if there's a demand for it, and I know there is. I'm just not very good at Age of Empires 3, so I don't know if people don't mind. Like in this game, at least I know what I'm talking about. I don't necessarily know what I'm doing, but I know what I'm. Well, I know what I should be doing. So in this game, at least I can uh, provide you a more meaningful analytical commentary, uh, despite my own personal performance. Whereas uh, in AoE 3, I just purely played for fun. I don't. Oh, good lord! I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know the intricacies of things. Probably gonna have to fight him. That's un as unfortunate as that is. I do have the home field advantage. Oh my god! There's they're both ganging up on me. I would prefer though that even though they, you know, 
I'm streaming, that people don't just hang up on me like this, but whatever. Yo, Alarun, I, uh, everything's on fire. Yeah, I am the, I am the master of bullshit, yes. However, I do believe it is time I, uh, threw in the towel. This game is going places. Like the toilet. Yeah, th those pikemen aren't gonna do anything. <laughs> I need, uh, I need some serious, serious heavy guys. Here am I. But, uh, I totally planned this loss, so it's cool. Yo, uh, your knights are going the wrong way, by the way, the, uh, Mr. Shin Max. I don't like how, uh, they kill all my villagers and they're not letting me boom up. It's always nice to have something to boom and fall back on. Alright, go, 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 everybody, go, 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 go. Everybody engage! Alright, please! You guys are idle? Okay. Anyway, I got, a, I got a lot of free kills here, though. That was a really good engagement. Oh, now I'm getting raided by green. I guess it is strategic to gang up on me anyway, because they don't want me booming, because I guess I'm the scariest person on this team at the moment, so it would be strategically wise, I guess, to, to take me out of the game, and they've been doing a good job of that by, like, Constantly raiding me. Oh, there's like two knights over there. Stupid knights. Be less stupid. Yeah. I mean, I could go pike, so they just kite the crap out of me. I'm just in a really bad spot because I have no one else to fall back on and I'm just getting ganged up on. Uh, this is how you lose games, by the way. Uh, on a less thick, sarcastic note, if there's one thing you can take away from this game is how you win is through pressure. And the Viper is so good because he is a master of pressure. That's the thing. You want what you want to do is you want your opponent to be reacting to all of your decisions. You, you don't want to. You don't want your opponent to be making any calls when they play. And in this case, I, I'm, even though I have a really strong economy and foundation and everything, I can't do anything because I'm constantly stuck defending my own base. Uh, I'm bottled in here. And that's how you win, uh, honestly, is you force your opponents to play reactively. And in this case, you know, I can build up and I can defend all day, every day, but we're going to lose eventually because we don't have the, uh, the map control. That is the deciding factor here. And that's why the Viper wins so many games, because... He's, he's not afraid to, to spread out and risk everything just to keep someone bottled in their base. Keep someone, you know, like you, you get such a huge advantage, honestly, of uh, just forcing someone to play reactively. So the more you know. So yeah, lo and behold, that's that's the that's our problem in this game, honestly, is that we are we are being pushed around. It's not like I don't have the you know, the army or anything to keep up with these guys or to fight them back. I do. I just uh, I have to constantly defend because they have so much map control, and our team as a whole is significantly further behind. Every time I push out, I am leaving myself vulnerable to uh, being pushed myself, and I, I'm not in a position to make these kind of trades because everyone on this team uh, is behind. So there you go. That's the seriousness for you. So that's how you win games, honestly, is to be dictating the choices. Uh, being defensive can also, you know, of course, like if you're booming or something. You can still be in charge, you can still wear the pants in the game, uh, per se, but... It's trickier, you just need to be in a position where your opponents have to uh, play to your needs. And right now, yeah, that's what they're, that's what they're basically doing. I mean, what we need, you know, is a lot of this team is very, very weak eco. So, you know, we're not in a commanding position right now. Sorry. Yeah, it looks like we finally got uh, these cleanup crews crap on lockdown. 
the sense of more units. Game's looking really bad though. Can't win with just trash units. We need eagles. That's what we need. Not sure. Oh well. Fun match though, fun match. This is the enemy team's tutorial on how to win games. Pressure, man! It's all in the pressure. <clears throat> Got enough farms? Uh, nope. Honestly, no. Here is when I have enough farms. When producing units does not cause me to run into food, that's when I know I have enough farms. Until I reach that point, I do not have enough farms. And that's how you should always balance your eco. So I can provide you, like, incredibly meaningful tips like these in, in AoE 2, but I cannot do that in uh, AoE 3. But, I'm mean, gonna have fun anyway, but, you know, I can't do that. Yo, I, uh, I, I'm prepared for this. I can make an else. I don't have enough. Alright, now I don't have enough lumberjacks, that's the problem. So, you know, so now I'm now producing units causing me to run out of wood, so that's when I know I need more lumberjacks, and you just kinda keep doing that until everything sorts itself out. And now this is really bad. Uh oh, his tech advantage is pretty strong. I hope Alarin's got dudes. Otherwise this is looking bad. Anyway, Manganel's good support, and take it as siege weapons. Hopefully I can stall him a trash until uh, we get some meaty guys. Okay, actually, yeah, Alarun's coming in from the other side. That's good. Maybe we can manage, manage the situation a little bit. Why are these guys just standing? Go, 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 go! Pull those back. Still need more farms. Alright, he's gotta, he's gotta fall back. This is good. This is good. Two. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Alarun. Appreciate it. Those farms are not attended to, but yeah, as you can tell, I'm still running out of stuff. That means I need more bills. And that's sort of a... You know, obviously that reaches a point. You don't want to have, I would say, two-thirds of your population should never be, like, more than villagers. It's very rare that that should, that should ever be a point where you would, say, need two-thirds of the max population to be villagers. Unless you're, like, Persians or something, that's, that's a no-go. Because you still need room for your military, but... Okay, yeah, thanks. Ooh, Ace is here, too. Alright, let's do this. It's usually a no-go. I'd say that half your max population in general should be your uh, should be bills. But obviously that can vary. And it's unfortunate, but uh Gray is out of this game. But uh everybody's working together on this side and we managed to take uh, Green's offense out. But again, it doesn't really matter. See here's the thing is uh, the reason that they're doing just so much better than us is that again they're forcing us to play reactively. Green took a huge, well, what, what appears to be a huge risk here, and he, it looks like he's losing a lot. He's got all this forward stuff on us, and he's clearly invested a lot in this attack, but it doesn't matter if it fails, which is why you know he's a good player, because he knows that it doesn't matter if this attack fails. So right now, he's just willing to lose all this stuff, because it's really just a distraction, and it's one that we can't avoid, <laughs> as sad as that is. We have to, uh, we have to react to this, he's forced us to, but the, the real thing, the real momentum is coming from Shade right now. That's why it's always so good to invest in a forward and whatnot, because even if you lose the forward, even if you are still wasting your opponent's time and you are still able to build up behind this and perhaps accomplish something else, so it's completely worth it. He's not losing anything necessarily meaningful here, except for resources. It's not like he's losing his base, but in this case, this is such an advantageous trade for them because Gray is significantly uprooted. He has lost all of his foundation and everything. He's got basically nothing. So that's why, yeah, this is a good trade, is that, sure, that forward, he lost a lot of resources, but it doesn't really matter because he still has his economy intact. 
He has a strong foundation to uh, basically build back from that. So yeah, the more you know. The cavalry archers were inefficient. Uh, they're more efficient at Forgotten Empires, that's for sure. They definitely cost less. Uh, so they're honestly legit in investment. Uh, at least now they are. That's a problem. Anyway, uh, they're kind of a legit investment now. They they didn't used to be. Uh, and it depends on the civ you are. Like, he's the Hun, so they cost less. So you got to keep that in mind. As the Huns, it is, uh, it is a OK. In fact, it is actively encouraged. That's like the Hun's best unit, is the Cavalry Archers. Either that or their Knights. Notice how uh, Shade right here is... He's bottled in his guys, right? So that I can't get a good uh, good healthy surround on them. And this is important because he knows I don't have Manganel support. But I can force him to uh, back out. But Shit. Yeah, anyway, yeah. That's, uh, of course, smart. He's not going to be able to do any uh, too massive... Eco damage here. I mean, uh, you know, it, it, but see, the thing is, is, is that even if he loses all of his guys here, which he won't because he can micro, even if he loses all his guys here, he's not losing anything substantial uh, in this exchange. This is, because, you know, again, I'm stuck in my base right now. I'm stuck reacting to him. I don't actually get to uh, do anything off that. However, he can definitely do a lot of damage to uh, Dalaran, that's for sure, actually. Oh, I, need to, I need to send all those guys, actually. The struggle! Yeah, I, uh... Down here are some of those people. Okay. It's a shame that I'm playing this so well and that I don't actually get to win this match. <laughs> we don't have any momentum, though. That's the problem. Uh, the momentum is not there. The momentum is weak with this one. We don't have a fallback plan. I ask him, he's actually propelling him on his own. Perhaps I can make a push or something. I can make something happen, maybe. Maybe. All those villagers are dead, nice. Okay, well, maybe I can make something happen. Anyway, I like to put my castles in a place that uh, protects my eco. Because again, the eco is the most important thing, and that's why they're winning, because they're forcing us to always play on the back foot. Send what I can, bro. Resonance, do you stream using Game Capture or Window Capture? I use Game Capture. Uh, game Capture is significantly less uh, intensive than, uh, PC intensive, that is, than uh, Window Capture. As for open broadcaster software. Coming, man. Ugh, this is uh, this is so bad though. Just because you know, you know, we're down, we're down gray. We're just playing from uh, behind. We're sort of stalling the inevitable. I can't outboom them uh, at this point. I can only, I can only be equal. I only have so much population. I'm just like three on four right now. Definitely at a disadvantage. But you know, maybe I can make plays. We'll see. And try and make it happen. I'll never be able to afford that. Oh, that's not gonna. That's not gonna help anything. The villager's gonna die. No point in running them away. Come on, come on, guys! You can do it.
Yeah, I'll see you in five to ten minutes, chilled kiwi. Oh, that's unfortunate. There goes all my gold miners. Hopefully I can get some uh, revenge on him, though. It looks like he's serious about this. Okay, well, if you're serious, I'm serious. Let's, uh, mono we mono, sir. We'll go down in a sea of glory. Not really. More like I'll go down in a sea of flames. Hey, does anyone have food, by the way? Food, please? Food, please. Thank you, bud. Show appreciate it. Just don't have the don't have the resources to keep up with this guy, dude. Again, yeah, you notice that Shade is constantly attacking multiple people at the same time. The whole point is he's trying to establish map control. I'm like a broken record, but it's important that you guys understand this. Uh, that's what win games. That's what you should always be looking for in a pro game, is you'll notice, yeah, you know, the Viper can win uh, seemingly unwinnable games due to his ability to uh, maintain map control. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna be toast here, though. This is when I uh, eliminate it, right? I don't know the. I don't know the stuff. I cannot fight this. I got no gold anymore. I have no gold income at all. I've. Uh, I'm basically reduced to dust at this point. Oh, there's a ton of guys over here. What? Well, this is un indeed unfortunate. It appears we have reached a uh, point of confusion. We have reached an impasse. Thanks, man. Uh, I think it's uh, all futile in the end, though. No gold income anymore. We're playing in poverty mode. Age of poverty. Residents could not afford any non trash units. However, if you uh, intend to turn off ad block on YouTube, I might actually be able to afford non trash units. Intent. Oh, it's so subtle. No, but uh, this is a uh, this is an uphill battle. I think I'm kind of boned. I need like 400 more gold, and then I can uh, get halberd ears, and then maybe. I don't know. Again, we we just have no momentum. See, we're always yeah. Okay, yeah. God, he's dead. <laughs> okay, yes. This is momentum. This is Alarun making the plays. All right. This is how you change the game. Okay. Because now. Now he's forcing them to react. Now cleanup crew has to suddenly react, and this is this is good. This is when you play reactionary. And now the only thing I can do now is just stall. Actually, I was I was infamous on Boobly uh, for my ability to stall games. I was like, I was like Resonance Stonewall Jackson. <laughs> I was uh, I was a brick wall man. Nobody nobody could surpass this. I didn't win. I didn't really get anything done necessarily, but boy would I waste your time. And you know, if we got someone like Alarune uh, creating momentum, then it's not really a waste of time. If anything, then it is uh, extremely productive. So, oh yo, uh, Shin Chimax, we need your dudes up in the front line. God, this is so annoying. Gotta, gotta get... Okay, yeah, uh, our, our, basically, yeah. This is how you win games is with momentum. We gotta do some raiding. I can't do that. I got no money anymore for paladins. And I need everything to defend my base. But, uh, Alarun is the only guy in position to create momentum. It's really a, you know, a futile effort at this point, but... You know, uh, that's how you win, though. And he understands that. Apparently there's guys over there. Cool beans. So at this point, really, all I'm doing is I'm just stalling. 
on the uh, on the off chance that Alrune somehow manages to turn the game. But yeah, no, it's it's over. It's been over for a while. But that is how we would make a comeback if we were going to. All right, well, GG, well played. That was a really fun game, that's for sure. Hopefully, you guys have learned a little bit about uh, Arabia and Age of Empires in general. Honestly, it's, it's, it's all about momentum. That's the thing. It's, you never want to be playing on the back foot. The player who def who spends all game defending is the player who loses. If you're going to be defending all game, you better have uh, a plan to bring momentum back. And uh, we don't. So it's GG. We should probably just quit now. But anyway, yeah. that's Age of Empires for you. Fun game. Of course, if you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to check out the rest of the stuff on my YouTube page. As well as my uh, Twitch TV account, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And really, As always, I really appreciate the support, guys. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. Hopefully you guys can win in my place. GG! Very well played on my opponent's part, definitely. Rip. Okay. Yep, that uh, just goes to show what mobility does. It allows him to, uh, well, be conservative with his guys. That's what makes cavalry archers so good. Yes, they are an expensive investment, but they really are worth it sometimes. I mean, obviously not on, like, the Celts or Teutons, where you don't have any upgrades, but... If you can make enough cavalry archers and keep them alive, that's when their their cost doesn't matter as much anymore. They, they do start paying for themselves in that case. And as you can see, you know, I, I lost a lot of guys, but it's for trash units. To keep them occupado. And here's the thing. Here's why we lost. This is what I'm talking about with the momentum. Look at these buildings raised for the opposing team, right? Compared to our buildings raised. Our buildings raised... Buildings raised is a really, really good judge of this concept of momentum or map control, which is really the most important thing I can... I can say that you should, I guess, know about AoE 2. Either that or how to manage an eco. Which, like I said, is, you know, create villagers until you reach the, the point where creating units doesn't make you go broke. Anyway, yeah, momentum. Momentum comes from destroying buildings. Those are sizable, sizable losses. This is how much momentum they had. This is how much we had. Like, we did we did basically no serious damage to them. Units are disposable. Buildings are not really necessarily disposable. <laughs> like, obviously, in the case of the forward of Dots, you know, he can afford to lose those buildings, but it matters. Like, that's momentum we're getting back. But it, you know, they got, they got more out of that exchange, definitely. I had, a, I had a mean eco, though. That's good. I tried, guys. Of course, it's always easy to look back on the game and be like, man, you know, he could have done this better, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, it's always uh, easier to say in hindsight. I am happy, though, that my eco is really strong. It's important to have a really strong eco to just pump out trash units nonstop to stall. But, yeah, we didn't have a backup plan. <laughs> It was a really, really good game, though. Uh, anyway, yeah, GG well played again, everybody. That was a really, really fun match. If you enjoyed watching this, you know, like I said, don't forget to check the rest of my stuff. And for those of you on YouTube, I'll see you all next time. For those of you on Twitch, I will be back in just a minute.